the sequencing of targeted agents, that's a very important question because um, the data we have so far are mostly um, from those patients who still re receive chemoimmunotherapy as frontline treatment. And when we look at those data where patients receive targeted agents from the second line treatment on and then as third line treatment, we see that both ways around um, show good efficacy data if a BTK inhibitor is given first and then if an attack or the other way around. Um, however, we know that relapses after chemoimmunotherapy tend to be more aggressive. We have more unfair prognostic um, um, genetic aberrations. And therefore, it's for us right now, um, we need more, more information. We are at this time point where we are in kind of the luxury position that we have so many, many patients receiving frontline treatment with targeted agents in remission. And therefore, we have to look now for the relapse treatment and um, for um, evaluating an optimal treatment sequence. Um, and um, this, I think we will have to wait here also for head-to-head -head comparison trials. And um, from these trials, one of the, uh, one very important question will be, um, what about second-line treatment and how do they work in those patients?